The town of Pond, just north of Wasco, continues to deal with the damages and loss of services caused by flooding, including not having access to water for basic necessities. 23 ABC's Rupert Rivera has been in Pond talking to residents trying to salvage what they can from their homes. After several days of rain, the people of Pond tell me they've never seen anything like this. In some cases, with water reaching up to their knees and damaged property, adding all they want now is change. We have been reaching out to a few officials. We're hoping that the fire department, we're hoping that the county gets involved. Um, it should have been stopped. Honestly, the first time shouldn't have happened. We spoke with Belkis Ubadi on Monday after the weekend's rain, now only two days later. The damages in her home are extensive. With mud covering the floors and most of her furniture lost, she says the emotions are overwhelming, but is grateful for her neighbors. The community has come together very well. They are, we have a lot of amazing people that have lived here for a very long time. Everyone here has been here over 20 years, which is a blessing. The community has worked together to help where they can. Yubadi's sister Sarah is one of the many who have stepped up. Posting on her social media account asking for help, Sarah has started to collect donations to pass out to surrounding neighbors. I posted it two days ago, so we're getting a lot of help. Uh, a lot of my friends, they've been bringing cases of water, truckloads of water, uh, food, snacks, um, anything that we ask for, they've been bringing it, cleaning supplies. Residents are also dealing with the fact that the drinking water and water used to shower, wash clothing, dishes, even the bathroom has been deemed contaminated and unusable. Community members say although they've been doing most of the work themselves, they are grateful for the help Council Member Mario Nunez has brought. Mario Nunez, he came out yesterday, he helped us, he brought us porta parties. We already got those yesterday and we haven't had no restroom since. Ubadi says her community members are currently working on building trenches roughly three feet deep right behind me. She says she knows this won't stop any future flooding, but hopes it would at least slow it down. In Pond, Ruby Rivera, 23 ABC News, connecting you. Local Assemblyman Vince Fong, County Supervisor Philip Peters, and Kern County Fire Chief Aaron Duncan are encouraging residents to take evacuation orders and warnings seriously. They released statements today. Fong saying, quote, residents need to stay informed and listen to safety orders. Their lives depend on their preparation, end quote. They also reminded community members to get the latest updates about evacuation warnings and orders by signing up at readykern.com. If you'd like to read the community leaders' full statements and stay up to date with these ongoing hazards, you can also visit us online at turn223.com.